Hey again everybody, this is Canocentric Films and I'm back at you with another flower review. Today I've got my hands on some rainbow chip from Revolution which crosses mint chocolate chip and sunset sherbet. Let's get to the categories. Super dense and gorgeous nugs seem to be the vibe with this stuff. Uh, you can see some really ornate coloration, certainly reminiscent of a rainbow, you know, in its variation and vibrancy of colors. I'd say it's trimmed to perfection and it's really trikey all over. My only real complaint is that this stuff feels a little dry on the outside in comparison to some other stuff I've had with much more dialed in cures, uh, both in and out of dispensaries. Part of that may be the fact that it was packaged in May, so it's older than most stuff I tend to get from Revolution. Uh, it may have dried out even more than normal, but I'm not sure, I'm just speculating here. The nugs just don't have that slight squish to them that is usually indicative of proper curing, at least in my experience. Still, there's not too much that I can say bad here other than it's not quite as fresh as I would like from like a physical texture perspective. But I'd give this stuff a 9 out of 10 with all those considerations. I'm not going to lie, this stuff really let me down with smell, and that's kind of a trend with a lot of Revolution flowers I've tried lately. I don't doubt this stuff has a strong aroma upon harvest, but I'm not sure the Revolution packaging adequately preserves their flowers. I'm just noticing uh, that a lot of them are low aroma, but I'm just speculating here, not trying to shed a negative light on the company, just have observed this a lot recently, and this opinion has definitely been echoed on Reddit by many, so uh, with that said though, this stuff has a musty gas that comes through only slightly upon being ground down, and with that said, I'd give this a 7 out of 10 for smell. There is a decent bit of flavor that comes through on the smoke of this stuff. It's earthy and sweet, and to me does remind me of its sunset sherbet parent in that way. Um, there's less of the pine, sort of sweet pine that I got from the mint chocolate chip flower, its other parent, um, but sweet doughy gas is sort of how I'd sum this flavor up while adding that these super sticky and resinous buds made for a thick but smooth smoke. I always thought I wasn't going to cough because the hits were super smooth, but like a few seconds later it definitely sneaks up on you and a uh, coffin and then instant high for me. <laughs> With all that said, I'd give it an 8 out of 10 for flavor. I do wish it was stronger, but I still certainly enjoyed it. I was a really big fan of the high from this stuff. After a long day at work, I found pretty instant relief from the first hit of this stuff. Um, a very significant mood boost, tons of stress relief, inflammation reduction, and then also slight cerebral stimulation were the benefits that I reaped from this flower. You know, it was the kind of high that just kept a perpetual grin on my face. And uh, good for social settings, kept me relaxed and calm in those, which can sometimes be a struggle, especially on like Zoom calls. That's just stressful and causes a lot of social anxiety for people, I think. But uh, yeah, I found this to be a really ideal daytime smoke. It didn't inhibit productivity because I felt really uplifted and hyper aware. Um, I'd give these effects a 10 out of 10. It fits my personal medicating needs to a T from the perspective of pain relief and mood boosting. That'll give this rainbow chip an 8.5 out of 10 overall. Despite less smell and flavor than I would ideally like, this stuff got me just right in all aspects of a high. Um, I'd like to clarify though, I have no affiliation with Revolution. Uh, the only reason you do see a high percentage of my flower videos being Revolution is that I just tend to like them more than a lot of other cultivators for the effects their flowers usually provide. I like how they're usually pretty clear about genetics and breeding. It's kind of fun to follow that as a cannabis connoisseur. Um, and their flower sometimes does have great smell to it, but it's always looked fantastic and been a pretty optimal grow most of the times I've tried it, at least. Um, so the other cultivator that's really brought me to that next level kind of high is Arise, for sure. Um, I've only rarely been able to get my hands on their flower, but I've always liked it. And uh, I got another review of some stuff from them coming up soon. It'll be a little mystery strain that I'm sure a lot of you have tried, though. So stay tuned for that. That's all I got to say today. Stay safe, everybody.